Silly Sydney learns to self-soothe. See if you can find the sloth hiding in the story. <laughs> Sydney is a silly squirrel in Miss Sue's class. She likes soup, sheep, and sand. Sydney is a strong and confident squirrel, most of the time. But sometimes she feels nervous inside. She is learning how to calm her system down on her own. Will you help Sydney learn to self-soothe? During class today, there is a change in the schedule. They are going to an assembly instead of free play time. She feels confused and all twisted inside. Should Sydney, one, stand on her chair with her arms folded and refuse to line up, or two, grab her squishy sheep to hold until life makes sense again. Let's try this one. Sydney jumps on her chair, crosses her arms, and refuses to line up. I mean, really, isn't someone going to tell her what's happening? She's supposed to go to free play now. Not only does Sydney not find out what she's supposed to do, her darn chair tips over and she falls down. Now she's hurt and confused. Let's help Sydney try again. Let's try this one. Sydney doesn't like to feel confused. It's all icky inside. But she trusts her teacher. She takes a deep breath and gets her squishy sheep out of the sensory box. She knows that Miss Sue will take care of her needs, but Squishy Sheep will help her feel calm inside when things are different. And it works. The assembly was actually kind of fun. Sydney can use a fidget when she needs one. This is a way to self-soothe. After recess, it's show and tell time. Sydney brought her favorite toy sheep today to share, but she's very nervous to talk in front of people. Should Sydney, one, stay at her desk and refuse to share, or two, tell herself, I can do this, I am strong and smart and confident? Let's try this one. Sydney feels nervous and anxious. These are feelings that means she's worried about what is happening and what people might think of her. Because she feels nervous, she sits at her desk and doesn't share her awesome toy sheep with her friends. Her friends look disappointed. I mean, they think Sydney is the greatest and they wanted to learn about sheep. I bet they would have loved to hear from her. Let's help Sydney try again. Let's try this one. Sydney knows it feels scary to talk in front of people, but these are people she trusts. Miss Sue always says she can do hard things, and she believes her. She tells herself, I am strong, I am smart, I am confident, I can do hard things. She stands up and tells the class all about sheep. When she's done, her friends have all sorts of great questions that she loves to answer. She and her friends are even closer than before. Who'd have thunk it? Sydney knows to self-talk when she's anxious or worried. This is another way to self-soothe. During recess, Sydney wants to play in the sandbox, but there are already kids there. That makes her nervous. Should Sydney, one, sit on the wall and not play at recess, or two, take a deep breath and go for it? Let's try this one. Sydney sees kids in the sandbox and some of them she doesn't even know. 
She decides to just sit on the wall. That's okay this time, but maybe she can try something different next time. Let's help Sydney try again. Sydney sees the kids in the sandbox. She wants to play too, but it's hard to play with new people. She remembers she learned to smell the flower and blow the candle to help her feel strong. She takes a deep breath and goes right over to the sandbox. The new friends are super nice. It takes her a minute to feel calm inside, but she does it. And she has new friends now too. <laughs> Sydney can take a deep breath and be strong to do hard things. This is another way to self-soothe. Sydney is a silly squirrel who is learning to self-soothe. She can use a fidget, she can use self-talk, or she can take deep breaths and be strong. See silly Sydney soothe? You can be like her too. <laughs> Here are some hidden rules for learning to self-soothe.